our first look at the renovations coming from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Uh, the building where the tragic massacre happened is being replaced. Local 10 News reporter Christian De La Rosa live now in Parkland to show us much more. Christian. That's right. The scene of this massacre, the 1200 building, it's still up. It won't be demolished anytime soon, but its replacement is already going up. New tonight, new renderings obtained by Local 10 News of what will soon replace the freshman building at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. The scene of that dark day when 17 died and 17 were wounded. You can see it from the Sawgrass Expressway. Construction is underway on the new 30 classroom, two story building. At a cost of $18 million, Pirtle Construction Company, who won the bid for the new build, says it should be completed by next fall. Broward County School Board member Lori Alhadef, who lost her 14-year-old daughter Alyssa in the terror, says it's more than just a new building. I think it represents resiliency, new beginnings, um, life. Wrapped with a banner decorated with green tree prints, the 1200 building is still standing. Plans are still to demolish it, but prosecutors wanted to sit as evidence through the length of the criminal trial against the school shooter. That jury needs to be able to walk through that building to see the carnage, to, you know, smell whatever they're going to smell and um, really feel the effects of the trauma and the, the death that happened in that building. The school board is planning a media tour of the new building in just a couple of weeks. We're live in Parkland. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.